name is Anne Dodd. I am the current chair of the executive of the British section of Pax Christi. Uh, I've been a member of Pax Christi for, uh, to my horror when I think of the length of time, 40 years. Um, I joined as a young woman uh, and I went on one of the international routes which opened my eyes, um, I think, at that stage to the European dimension of Pax Christi. Um, at that time, we didn't have a British section at all. Um, it was one person, uh, John Geary, who brought back from the route that he'd been on in the early 60s um, this new idea of Pax Christi, this organisation. Um, but his work as an individual um, in just bringing that idea back taught me and has always remained with me that the import, the, there is an unquantifiable importance in seemingly small actions by committed individuals. You're planting a seed and you don't know where that seed, what it will grow into, but in the 40 years that I've been involved with Pax Christi, I have seen it grow from, uh, in Britain, from an organisation which had no uh, public image, which had no paid personnel, which had no office, which had no clout, because it was one or two people. And I've seen it grow over 40 years into a much respected organisation, um, which is has as a degree of confidence and stability at the moment, which I'm sure that original young man, John Geary, coming back from a Pax Christi route, I think because he had a French wife and had heard about it that way, he had no idea of what that would lead to. I think it, for me, Pax Christi has always been where I work out my faith, uh, because the word that always leaps out of the liturgy is peace. Peace I give to you. It was the last gift of Christ. It was, it's part of that manifesto of Christians, the um, the Beatitudes, and peacemaking and peace building as being part of what a Christian and a Catholic does. That's where they focus their life. And for me, Pax Christi is how the is the best way of doing that because it's working within the structures of in the Catholic Church as and the faith of Catholicism, the social teaching of Catholicism um, as its focus and its roots, but has this ability to, to be a bridge between the religious and secular organisations who are all working towards that creation of a more peaceful world based on justice. It finds allies where it can, it works creatively with those organisations. It brings its own vision to it and tries to really um, encourage the leaders of the church to speak out, to take a position, because um, I know from my, my own three grown-up children um, how little um, perhaps respect they have for an organised, for an institution which can speak out so strongly on some things, but which is silent on others. And I think to have integrity, uh, we need to encourage the church to speak up much more. But in the meantime, um, we try within uh, as, as that organisation of British Section of Pax Christi to work in the words of, that were used yesterday, I, was remar I found them remarkable, as prophets, as workers, and as missionaries of peace building a more peaceful, justice-based world.